Hey there guys and gals, and welcome back to part 9 of Let's Play Rule of Rose. And in the previous part we did the Goat Sisters uh, chapter, and now we're going to do the final chapter for this part, which is the Mermaid Princess. How was it, Jennifer? Do you remember now? Hmm, I see you remember the second one. That's not all of it. You really are a silly girl. Hurry, hurry. Read another story, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> well, since there's only one story left... Up we get. Come on. We need to read this last story. Mermaid Princess. The fun one. Mermaid Princess. A long, long time ago, the Mermaid Princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All, all alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom. Who'd ever want to go out? Want to become an ugly woman like her? Okay, that was a very alternate take to the Little Mermaid. The Grimm brothers would be so proud. <sighs> if it was them that invented that story, was it? I don't know. No, we're not going to save because we've done our fall again. August 1930. Mermaid Princess. And there they are, hanging on hooks. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh, I said that this story circles around Diana. It also primarily circles around Clara. When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the strong-willed princess was, in the, was there in the room and said sourly, <sighs> Rats! The fish is gone. Mr. Hoffman will be furious. You should be looking for your own precious thing. Yeah, this story is practically about Diana as much as it is about Clara and Mr. Hoffman. To be perfectly frank, poor unlucky girl, tell me your tale. I didn't mean to do this, so no. Eh, uh, yep. Let's drop. No, I don't want to look at it. Don't care. Drop it. Equip that. And now we need to go out and find out what the special gift this is this month. More fucking ropes. We need to find out what the gift is this month. And can you guess what it is? Because I can. It's a beautiful mermaid. Come on, Brown. Where am I? Oh, okay. Hi, you crying face little bit. You little bit is a brat. No way. There's no such thing. This month's gift an unmarried mermaid. Well, it's pretty logical on how you're going to make one of those. I can make one of those. Okay, so... I have no idea what I'm doing now. Um, I would imagine I need to follow Olivia. I don't know. I need to find something, but I don't know. Oh, hello. Yay, here we go. The cold princess and the wise-looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl quietly listened in. Diana was quite upset. Don't you think that was too much? We had to do it. Besides, there's no such thing as mermaids. Don't you agree, Meg? You're right. 
That was the only thing we could do. So they took the fish. What are you two girls doing? Then the wise looking princess asked. How about you, Jennifer? Do you believe in mermaids? The cold princess said. They are such beautiful and pure creatures. You're looking for a mermaid too, aren't you? Then you'd better hurry. Diana might find it before you. Shouldn't you be looking for a mermaid? You've got to make a gift every month. Oh, hello. Come on, pick it up. Fish scale. Awesome. Now we can go find our fish. Okay, fish scale. Find. And we're going to find a fish tail, I think. We either find a fish tail or a fish head. I forget which. But with the way this game goes, I imagine it's the head. I imagine it's a reverse mermaid with the head of a fucking fish and the body of a doll or something. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Ooh, what's this? Hold on, Brown. I found candy. Even though we don't call it that in, a, in a Britain land, we call it sweets. Or the confectionery. Never candy. Come on, Brown. This way. Knock, knock. Sector 7, Cargo Bay. Hoffman better not be in here, the dirty old cunt. Come on, then. Let's go this way. We're going this way. We're going this way. I need to start editing some of these. I've not edited them <laughs> since I've recorded them. But then again, I have quite a few things recorded, so... But then again, if I start today, that'll be alright. I'll start after I end this. Well, actually, I'll start after I end the Let's Play, because I'm planning on finishing this today. Yay, I'm gonna finish this today. Maybe. I should. There shouldn't be that much left, actually, after this. I'm fairly certain there must be, like two chapters after this? What the hell? Who is that? That's Claren, Mr. Hoffman. Oh dear. I really hate their backstory. Really? I have to go in that cave with them? Okay. Sector 2 maintenance passage. Here we go. Uh, I really dislike the mermaid princess. It's just a really horrible... It adds... It adds information to the really horrible backstory of it all. Okay, downstairs we go. Lower vertical tail. That sounds interesting. Spin the camera around because I can't see. Come on, Brown, hurry up. Oh, hello. What's this? Brown, move your butt. Pick it up, meat cleaver. And a fish head. Great. Fish head that's been chopped oddly. Anything else around here that I can find? Drop it. We've got candy, we've got a meat cleaver that I'm not going to use. And we have a fish head that can help us find something. No! And obviously we're going to have to go back up the fucking stairs. Whoop! Christ almighty. Jennifer gets a very good cardio from running around this airship. Okay, where are we going, Brown? I don't want to meet the fishy imps. Of course there's going to be fish imps. 
Uh, well, I suppose it's better than the peg imps. Yeah, there's also peg imps in this game. Could you believe it? No, obviously not. But there you go. Sector 1, wire controller. Oh, wait. The peg imps will be introduced in the next chapter. I know they will. Because the next chapter is the rag princess that... Pre Ooh, what? Which uh, I believe primarily focuses on Amanda. Brown weight. There's stuff. Why is there fish flowing around in the air? How high am I right now? You guys see this too, right? I'm not the only one that's high. Holy shit, hello! How you doing? He's sniffing her butt. The fish has got to be this way. I just know it. Well, Brown says it's that way too, so let's follow ya. Shall we? Central stairway. Oh my gosh. Now what are we going to be doing? Hello, this place is interesting looking. Yeah, nothing important, I would imagine. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? There's something here. There's doll's legs. I told you. <sighs> Flippin' reverse mermaid. Okay, that found doll's legs. Maybe. Maybe drop, I don't know. Nope, the doll's legs find something, so... Drop this. Go. And find me what the doll legs find, please. <sighs> Look at this place. This place... Oh god, I remember. We have to follow Joshua around here one t at one point. Oh, hello, fish imps, or... Yep, definitely fish imps. Brown, please help me. Fuck off, bag. Imp boy thing. Go away. Go away. Hate them all. Oh, fuck, the fish ones flop. Which is obvious. Okay, Brown, come on. Help me, please. Please don't tell me you're dead. Find stuff, please. Is this way? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh fuck, this is the mermaid room. No! Why are these shorter than the birds of happiness? Anyway, as we saw, Mr. Hoffman was caressing Clara. And we need to go inside. Oh dear god. And there's a mermaid in here with scars all over her body. Which I'll explain. I'll have to explain. There's a pulley system, because this fucking thing kinda partially flies. I say kinda partially because it gets suspended in the air and gets annoying. And spews everywhere. Hi. Hey Clara. By the way, yes, this is Clara. This is supposed to be Clara. How this all relates to Diana and Hoffman is that you may notice scars on Clara's body. That is because it is believed that uh, that Mr. Hoffman um, sexually abused Clara and that she would get pregnant. Which is why there was those things in the sick bay so that he could perform abortions on her. And this relates to Diana because he starts to make advances on Diana uh, whenever he realizes that Clara lost interest 
and whenever she's gotten too old, to be honest. Oh, she spewed! Really hit this ball. Oh god. I would have met. I met. Oh, she spewed. How am I doing? Not very well. Not very well, but I'm gonna keep going. Good thing I picked up a few lollies. <sighs> yep, there's the scars. You were able to see one. Maybe, if you looked close enough. If you can, go back and uh, rewind and pause. It's on her stomach. Just above her womb, I would imagine. Oh, fuck you, Clara. Stop being a bitch. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you by killing you. Stop it. Whee! Yep, there it is. Uh, she got into a good angle so you could see it. Uh, come on, Clara. Oh, you dirty bitch. Spewing everywhere. Christ, that is disgusting. Use. Those help as much as the fucking biscuits. What's the matter? Carbohydrate's not good enough or something? Sugar needed. <sighs> no, Clara. Bad Clara. Bad. Uh oh. Use... No, I don't want to use the candy just yet. I'll use a lolly. Whee! Oh, she hit brown, you dirty bitch spewing on the fucking dog. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm pretty sure she's nearly dead. She's bound to be nearly dead. Where are ya, ya dirty fish? Sheesh, come on! Die already! Uh, Clara, I hate you so much. I feel sorry for you, but I hate you. Just as much as I hate Amanda. Oh fuck. Use... I wonder how much the candy heals you. I use the candy after a run of lollies. But that should not work. That should not happen, actually. Because I'm pretty sure she must be somewhere near death! Okay, where are you? There she is. You can tell where she's going to drop because of her spew. You know, the sensible thing to do would be to fucking pull the rope. Come on, whack her in the stitches. You bitch. Oh, piss off. Spewing everywhere, you dirty whore. Use that again. Get out of the spew, Jennifer. There she is. Come on. She's gotta be near death. This is why I like games that have health bars for their frippin' enemies. That way you can tell. I'll piss off of your spew or tears or whatever it is. She killed me. Holy shit! That was a lot of spew! Oh, she killed Brown. She spewed on Brown and knocked him out. Oh. Whee! Would you fuck off with your projectile vomiting? It's not nice. It's the opposite of nice, it's fucking rank. You fucking whore. No! You're projectile vomiting everywhere! Oh my god, that did not help me. 
That did so nothing. So did fuck all. She had better die. She had better die. To be quite honest, I probably should have exchanged those ribbons. I really should have exchanged those ribbons. Oh, come on. This is almost as painful as Mr. Hoffman's first attempt. Uh oh. No! Please, no. Wow. Okay, just stand there. Just stand there until it clears up. Come on, come on, come on. She's got to be so near death. She has got to be somewhere near death. There she is over the bed. Oh fuck, she's spewing all over her bed. I don't know if that's spear tears. I think it's spew. I think she goes near the bed whenever she's just about dead. Oh come on, I've hit you in the fucking scars so many times already. Hi. Just hold on while I get over there. I need a walking stick. I'm gonna get you, you little bitch. Oh, fuck you, sitting all the way over there. Yeah, fuck you, your vomit can't get me all the way over here. This is annoying. Why the hell is she going in the corners? I'm not going over there. So she can fucking spew everywhere. Yeah, nice work. Wanna come over here and try that, bitch? Here she comes. Come on, fishy. Would you stop waving at me? For God's sake. Uh oh. That was close. Oh, come on. Brown, brown wouldn't exactly be any help here anyway, so I don't really care that he's just lying there. Would you stop spewing on the dog? He's already fucking down. Okay. Piss off. I'm not going over here. I'm not going over there. Piss off. You come over here. Yeah, you come over here. Come on. Come on, well, if you think you're hard enough with your fucking... Come over here if you think you've got the tits. If you think you've got the balls. Uh oh, here she comes. Hi. Oh, come on. Oh, here you all say, why is, why is there scars on her ribs? Oh. I'm gonna die soon. Fuck off! Oh, please, Jennifer, please. Oh my god, I have the shortest amount of health left. That, I'm dead. Well, that's a first. How does this... Oh, look at Per Brown. Little princess, little princess, precious little princess, the little girl was a beautiful... Was as beautiful as a princess, but she was always alone. The girl found her grave. Today is the day of her funeral, and everyone lived happily ever after. Assholes. Fucking dicks. Well, where do we start off? We start off at the title screen. So you can guess what the fuck's gonna happen. I'm gonna complete this off camera. 
<laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed part 9 of Let's... Was this part 9 or was it part 10? It was... Yeah, part 9. Hope you enjoyed part 9 of Let's Play Rule of Rose, and we shall continue from the end of that fucking bush fight. Okay, so peace out. Bye! Kidding, I have no idea whether it's supposed to be lesbianism or just... Oh fuck, that came out of the floor! I don't know if it's supposed to be lesbianism or an actual sisterly bond. A lot of people say it's lesbianism, but I guess it could be either, because it, this chapter is called The Goat Sisters. I mean, come on.